what is up party people i know it's been a while back with another video um i had made a poll never went back and checked it but um a lot of people were saying do a two-part video instead of just one long one so here go uh, uh here we go with the beginning of the uh, video so as you can see this is my record collection starting off we got it. Paranoid, of course, right? I couldn't pass this joint up. Yeah, Ozzy, Bill, Geezer, and Tony. Electric Funeral. That's the one. All tracks published at Westminster Music Ltd. Except Planet Caravan, Electric Funeral, and Rat Salad. Published by Onward Music Ltd. Um... The album actually came out. Um, I don't know why it says original Paranoid album was released by Warner Brothers January 71. I don't know why it says that because it came out actually September 18th, 1970, the day Jimi Hendrix died. This album originally came out. So I'm not sure why it says January 71 there. <clears throat> but I had a friend named uh, Angel. He's no longer with us. Uh, actually, he's been deceased for 10 years now, but he went. He actually, he went to Woodstock, so he got to see Jimmy play the Star Spangled Banner, and, and, and um, while he was in high school, you know, the 45 of the Star Spangled Banner came out, and he went to the principal's office and switched, like, the regular, you know, military band version of it with the Hendrix version, and the, um, and the uh, teacher, uh, not the teacher, the principal let him, you know, uh, let it play the whole time, and then when he gave the morning announcements, he was like, and by the way, uh, Jesse, was the name, he was like, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in my office after, <laughs> after this first class, how he knew, I don't know, but, um, I bring him up because he put me on to Electric Funeral, I hadn't heard the full album yet, but he put me on to Electric Funeral, and obviously Iron Man, Paranoid, okay, of course, right, you know, Planet Caravan, of course, but, that electric funeral, that um, wah wah pedal on the bass, and on the uh, lead guitar, you know, and Tony Iommi is a fucking, you know, genius, having put, having lost his fingers and then turning the guitar the other way and still persevering, you know what I mean? Gives me hope for wanting to, to you know, achieve my dream. Back. Next up, haven't opened it, but when I saw it, I had to get it. 30th anniversary iconic debut album includes a classic, Fight for Your Right, No Sleep Till Brooklyn Paul Revere. Now, Fight for Your Right might be the weakest song on this whole album. Um, uh, the Beastie Boys, this is um, License to Ill. You know, Rick Rubin produced this joint. You know what I mean? Um... So it's not open. I can't show you the inside of it, but um, just know it's one of the greatest albums in hip hop history. MCA might be the best white rapper that isn't named Eminem. Him or Everlast from House of Pain. Next, the legend himself, Bob Marley. Of course, I bought the legend album just because I didn't want to have to sit there and search for Exodus and, and search for all his other, you know, separate albums just to get the few songs that I liked when almost all of them were on this one. I don't know if is Rosterman vibration on here. I don't think so. No, it's not. But uh, that's the only song I would wish was on here. But, you know, you can't go wrong with this album, you know, legendary album, you know, it has the right title, <laughs> Bob Marley, Curtis Mayfield, um, this is probably the best soundtrack album of all time, um, I recommend the movie too, if you've never seen it, uh, Ron O'Neill, Superfly, great movie, the remake was pretty good too um from i don't know 2015 or something uh pretty good but you can't beat this classic joint right here you know 
Little Child, Pusher Man, Freddy's Dead. How many of y'all seen Friday when um uh Hector comes up? Right? That's that's Freddy's Dead. Um of course the title track. But I bought this obviously because I'm a Curtis Mayfield fan, but special edition version check out the actual vinyl itself that's hot right orange vinyl that's hot right back pictures from the movie my mom said and uh we watched this uh, Gordon Parks directed this. He also directed uh, Shaft. I didn't know he directed this. Now we come to the album that probably has gotten the most play on all of my turntables in the house. Sex Packets by Digital Underground. Rest in peace to Shock G. And as I'm looking, Tupac isn't on the cover, but you know he was in Digital Underground as well. Um, this album concept was the Sex Packet was supposed to simulate sex for the astronauts and it was supposed to be uh supposed to simulate you know uh sexual uh intercourse with a uh female or male so it didn't matter what your sexual orientation was um and they were they had um supposedly came in different types of um um, you know, races and things like that. You wanted a redhead girl, you wanted an Asian girl, you wanted a Latino girl, whatever it was, or 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 guy. You know, it, it the the packet was for that, and it simulated sex. And it's, I don't know if it's the first, but it's definitely one of the most popular concept albums of um, of hip hop, um, and. Fun fact, the Humpty Dance, which is on this album, wasn't even going to be on the album. A song they wanted to sample for a different song got blocked at the last minute. So they ended up like, hmm, maybe we should give Humpty a song. And so uh, Do What You Like had already came out before this album. But then they ended up putting out uh, the Humpty Dance. And then, you know, this album went quadruple platinum off the strength of the Humpty Dance, like without even the rest of the the album. And um uh, without the rest of the album being heard. The sampling on this album is ridiculous. The Way We Swing, which is the second song on there, is uh it's a sample of um uh oh uh, what's the song? Uh Who Knows by Jimi Hendrix. And when I say I mean like literally the 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 beat and the riff of the song like they're just you know intertwining it with the uh you know the you know jimmy Hendrix saying they don't know like i know right and in the lyrics of this song it's like uh 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 fake mcs they like the way we swing because they don't know right and just the way i'm i'm glad that al hendrix cleared the sample because it's one of the greatest songs in in um digital underground's history there's another track uh sex packets uh they sample uh she's always in my hair by prince which was the b-side i think to raspberry beret um it, it's just it, it it they're my favorite hip-hop group of all time uh rest in peace again to shock g this is to me the greatest it, it, it's the greatest hip-hop album of all time like it no record that i have in my collection has been played more than this one the chronic 1992 Death Row in their prime too, right? Dr. Dre. This album has all of the classics, of course. Fuck with Dre Day and everybody celebrating. Let Me Ride, of course. Nothing but a G thing, of course. Um, and then, you know, the classic. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. <laughs> Executive produced by Suge Knight. Real shit. This is the album that really kind of like introduced the world to Snoop Dogg and it's a double album, I believe. And then, um, you know, Doggy Style came out in 94 and it was a rap. It was a rap for hip hop at that point. Death Row was running shit at that point. Dre. EWF. 
Earth, Wind, and Fire, Volume 1. Now, you might say, uh, why didn't you buy like an actual album? I bought this album because September, uh, it's not my favorite Earth, Wind, and Fire song anymore, but at the time I bought this, it was. And if you're an Earth, Wind, and Fire fan, you know September did not come out on an album. It actually came out um it actually came out on a greatest hits like it was one of those like you know added to a greatest hits so there is no album in their catalog like studio album that has september on it you have to get this one so let's see what the track listing is though um shining star uh, this or uh, get away that's my favorite song do 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 yeah, that, that's, that's my favorite song. Um, and then The Way of the World, Reasons, of course, Philip Bailey, September, you know, the beautiful album. Funkadelic, Maggot Brain, Eddie Hazel. That's all I need to say. That's all I need to say. Um, George Clinton surrounded Eddie Hazel with a cabinet of marshals, probably. Gave him LSD and told him to play the guitar as if somebody just gave him the news that his mother had died. And then halfway through, he told him that it was a lie. And then played that emotion. Boom. Maga brain. This was actually a gift. Nothing against Funkadelic, but I think I like them as Parliament better. Gary Clark Jr., live in North America. I bought this at a concert that I went to in Kansas City when I first saw him. Um, let's see what's all on here. Grinder, Healing Our Love, Cold Blooded, When My Train Pulls In, Great Blue Song. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I bought this album. For this song right here. Numb. If you haven't heard it, check it out. Next is, <clears throat> excuse me, This Land, which came out in 2018, I think. Or ni ni 19, 2019. This album is the best album I've heard in years. Um, it's got everything on it from, like, Curtis Mayfield-inspired uh, Feed the Babies to... Iggy Pop and the Stooges got to get into something straight, straight up punk song. Sheila E comes through and plays drums on a few of the tracks. I mean, and then um, this land, we don't really have time to get into it, but the actual title track, this land was talking about how, um, you know, he, he was telling the story about how he bought this land and like this old model a and his neighbor who he, he, is from Texas and his neighbor who was white asked him, you know, who, who lives here and who owns this car? Because the thought of a black person owning it, it just, it was unfathomable. Like it couldn't have happened. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, after, you know, you know, who won the presidency, it became unbearable, uh, with some people and they were leaving dog excrement in his mailbox. And, throwing the Confederate flag over his fence and telling him to go back home. And the song is saying, well, I was born here. So this is my home, you know, uh, and not to get too, you know, political about it, but it, it just, just listen to the song. That's the inside. Some of these don't open. Like some of these are old. Like, I mean, I mean, some of these are like the new reissues, you know what I mean? So the, the actual, um, sleeve doesn't open. Cool picture of you. Like there, this album. This is one of those albums that there's no skips. There is no skips. Um, favorite track on this one is a song called "Low Down Rolling Stone." It's track three on side three, but I think it's track thirteen if you have like the CD. "Low Down Rolling Stone," Gary Clark Jr. Of course. I saw this staring me in the face one day. How could I not? You know what I mean? Axel, Izzy, Duff, Steven, Slash, 
Come on, man. I used to have a poster of Slash hanging up in my room. And as a guitar player, no guitarist has given me more trouble with playing than Slash. Not one. The intricacies of his run. He is probably the best technical guitarist alive. And even even if some of them were still alive, I would still say he's the best technical guitarist alive. That's just my opinion. But this album right here, nothing against guns, but, you know, Use Your Illusions 1 and 2. Good albums. Spaghetti Incident. I mean, I'm cool. Like, November Rain and Back is cool for me. Like, that, and anything post that, no thank you. But how could you pass up Appetite for Destruction? I mean, come on, dog. Like, Slash is, um... Autobiography is amazing too if you've never read it. It's just called Slash. Come on, man. Welcome to the Jungle Night Train. Come on, man. Paradise City, Rocket Queen, Mr. Brownstone. Come on, man. A sweet child of my come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. You know, I don't think I've ever opened this before. Uh, it's the first time. I took the wrapping off of it, played it once. But I don't remember ever looking at this picture. Like. I cannot tell you. Is I think this is Steven and this is Duff. And that's Izzy slash Axel. LA Guns, Hollywood Rose. One band, one sign. Oh, it has a full. YouTube, don't, don't, don't block me. I didn't know that was there. This album was a gift by Mr. Overeem, who, if you've checked the guitar unboxings, you understand who Mr. Overeem is. In the beginning, Isley Brothers and Jimi Hendrix. Testify probably is the most known of the tracks. Um, you know, this, uh, you get to hear Jimmy doing those runs and fills that we would hear on what will become all on the watchtower and um Dwayne Cries Mary and stuff like that, fire, uh, but in a more subdued amplifiers not turned on tin <laughs> here. Um this is a rarity. Where he got this from, I don't know. Um so I can't even direct you in the right way to uh in, in the right direction to go get this, but it's 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 a must have for your Hendrix fan. And last for this section of the video, Boarding House Reach by Jack White. Um, over and over and over came out in 2018, I think. Um, Ice Station Zebra, Connected by Love, Human Risk, song written uh, surprisingly by um, Al Capone. And uh, Third Man Records, you know, Boarding House Reach. You know, Jack White always called himself the third man from the White Stripes days, so... Um, this right here, uh, obviously never unwrapped it because I ended up <laughs> streaming it on title, but you know, it still having it is, uh, it is worth it because you never know when I might want to hear over and over, you know, with the needle. So, um, so that's it for my first, uh, section. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, leave your comments down below. Like, do you have any rarities in your record collection? If you do, tell me uh, what they are. Do you have any of these albums? Next, um, I started, you know, with Jack, uh, but the next section will just be my Jimi Hendrix collection because there's so much of that. And then I'll end up making a part three, which would be from K to uh, the last albums that I have. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, please like, comment, you know, 
share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you haven't, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.